Hello everyone and welcome to Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. I'm standing in front of famous old Colton Hall in the beautiful city of Monterey, California. And this month, we're in the mood to celebrate. Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? Do you feel like partying? Well, La Merienda is the perfect event for you. I'll introduce you to our host sponsor in a moment. But first, our presenting sponsor of Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell is the Sam Linder Auto Group featuring some rather amazing automobiles. Still has that elegance that Jaguar has always had. Ah, yes. X marks the spot when it comes to today's Jaguar sedan. The XF is fabulous. Handles beautifully. It's not too big, yet you've got room for all the family. You can kind of throw it around a little bit if you're a lead foot like I am, but you still have all the luxury, great economy, and superb performance. And the XF is what you make of it. They offer a four-cylinder car for economy with 240 horsepower, all the way up to a 550 horsepower V8. Then if it's power, size, and then some you desire, drive the XJ. Very high-end luxury. The, the interior looks like it's hand-built. It's beautifully done, but it's smooth to drive. It's whisper quiet, hard to beat. So your decision isn't hard, not difficult either. It's a drive you'll remember for the rest of your life. The Jaguar XF and XJ, available at Sam Linder Jaguar Monterey. And don't think for a minute you can't sit behind the wheel of an XF or XJ. Why, the answer is simple, new or pre-owned. Contact Sam Linder Jaguar Monterey and use the promo code HUNTERTV. Since January, we have really been on the fast track with Monterey Bay and beyond. In fact, last month, we welcomed back a host sponsor for the fourth time. None other than realtor extraordinaire Mick Path, a member of the Sotheby's International Realty Firm. Mick specializes in luxury properties throughout the Monterey Bay area, including Monterey, Santa Cruz, and San Benito counties. Whether you're seeking a primary residence or vacation home along the coast or inland, Mick Paff has the experience above and beyond and meets your expectations and goals in a fun, exciting, and resolute fashion. And wow, did Mick have an incredible property to show us in the Aptos La Selva Beach area. Fast forward to this month, and we're back in the city of Monterey, the largest city, as a matter of fact, in the Monterey Peninsula and soon to be the center of attention this June. Monterey is going to celebrate its birthday. And although she is pretty darn old, almost two and a half centuries in fact, she still parties like a youngster. And she does so with the premier picnic of the year. It's called La Merienda, hosted by the Monterey History and Art Association. And to tell us more about La Merienda is El Maestro Mayor, Eric Sand. So we're joined here in the beautiful memory gardens in Monterey by El Maestro Mayor, Eric Sand. Eric, good to see you. How you doing? All right, Hunter. Good to see you. First question I have for you, El Maestro Mayor, the title. Explain what that is. El Maestro Mayor means the leader of the procession. Uh, La Merienda uh, begins currently at Casa Serrano where we have a VIP reception. And then the procession with La, La Favorita, La Doncellas, and La Dueña uh, walk down Pacific Street, we make a right on uh, on Franklin and then a left on Alvarado Street and I basically lead the procession to the memory gardens here where we are right now. Eric, your family, as I well know, has quite a history over many generations in the Monterey County area. Elaborate a little bit for me. The uh, family goes back to uh, uh, six generations on my side to Joel Walker who was a signer of the California Constitution in 1848. Um, then a part of the family settled in Big Sur. Uh, then we were in, in Monterey. I have a great grandfather, Benjamin Wright. He was the mayor of Monterey in the 1920s. He, um, we come from the oldest real estate family on the peninsula. He developed the upper part of Franklin in 1906. Hilby Avenue was uh, named after Martin Hilby, another great grandfather. He developed Seaside in the 1920s. Hilby Avenue and Seaside was named after him. Um, we have a lot of people here that uh, had contributed to Monterey's uh, history and uh, its heritage. And that makes you pretty proud, I'd imagine. It, it does, not? yeah, it does. Um, we live in the present too, so that's why I'm continuing the involvement with Monterey. I've learned to know quite a few people that are in Monterey, and there are some quite, uh, quite 
important people here with, with a lot of integrity. The first Marianda celebration, according to the history books, was held at Colton Hall here in Monterey, 1929, and a picnic here at the Memory Gardens, just like that. Now, how different or similar do you think that La Marianda would have been 1929 or 30 or 31 as compared to today? I think they're very, very similar. There's uh, La Favorita uh, was presented to the attendees of La Marianda, along with her escorts, the Donceas, and the dueña, the matron. Um, I think it was, uh, I think it would be very, very close. If you took someone from the 1929 Marianda and put them, just transplanted them today in today's Marianda, I think they'd feel right at home. Two years later, after Colton Hall, the original uh, Marianda, the Monterey History and Art Association was formed. And I know that today that is so instrumental in the success of La Marienda, right? That's probably true. The Marienda was started, and then uh, a couple years later, uh, most of those people that initiated the Marienda were in on the, the founding of Monterey History and Art Association. So the two were joined together. Uh, the Marienda also celebrates, it's not just a festive occasion for history and art, but also brings in Monterey's birthday. The two were brought together, and the city of Monterey today you know, enjoys a, a very good relationship with, with the History and Art Association. More from Eric Sand and La Merienda in a bit. But now is the time to be a guest at Monterey's birthday party. For tickets, call Carol Todd at 831-372-4445 or email at merienda at montereyhistory.org or you can go to the website at www.montereyhistory.org. Before we continue our celebration of our host sponsor, La Merienda, this month, we'd love to offer you some fine food stops in Monterey. The vistas will amaze you, the service will impress you, and the food will more than satisfy you. Where do the locals go when they want to eat at a restaurant that guarantees happiness? The answer is the Sandbar and Grill. Located underneath the Monterey Municipal Wharf No. 2, the Sandbar and Grill is practically on the water. Boats cruise by as you decide what's on the menu. And once you do, you will not go wrong. Fresh seafood is the finest fare, from crab to lobster, salmon to sand dabs. And oh, did I mention a full bar with any beverage of your choice? And oh, by the way, I did say this is the locals' restaurant. Yet you can't keep a secret from tourists, too. And how could you, when the Sandbar and Grill is perhaps the best place to dine anywhere, anytime? Sandbar is a fun place, especially at happy hour. We have discounted food, specialty drinks. I tell you, if you come once, you'll definitely be back. Open 11 a.m. to 9 Monday through Saturday and 10.30 a.m. to 9 on Sunday. Come settle in at the Sandbar and Grill. Grazie, I'm Chef André, and welcome to my newly renovated Swiss Bistro. A restaurant standard at the Barnyard Shopping Village, Carmel, for 18 years, Lugano Swiss Bistro was seeking a makeover. I gave her a facelift. She's prettier than ever. And just what is Swiss food? Swiss food is an infusion of the best of Italian, German, and French. We're known for our fondue and schnitzel. We are also featuring a healthy, light menu, too. We even have a doggy menu for our patio. Whether you stand on two legs or four, you'll want to take a seat at Lugano, like this family inside the chalet. I have to come here every couple of weeks for my schnitzel fix. It's like you're on a mini vacation when you come here. I love coming here. I love the greeting. Welcome, hi. Right. Come on in, please. You may also venture to the Lugano room. Well, this is a perfect room. This is from Lugano, Italian, Swiss, and Ticino. And you love fondue, I guess. I love fondue. Yeah. Yes, I do. Lugano Swiss Bistro, a famous place with famous tastes. And remember to save the date for Chef Andre's illustrious Oktoberfest, September 13th and 14th at the Monterey Fairgrounds. Prost. Like great wine, the Sardine Factory gets better with age. Monterey's premier restaurant is celebrating 45 years. 45 years for the Sardine Factory 
Can you tell me why you think it's been so successful? In one word, love. We have it posted in the kitchen. You know, we try to instill in everybody that works here at the Siding Factory, the most important thing is love. We have a saying at the Siding Factory, if we made you feel at home, we made a million dollar mistake. You might as well stay at home. Our job is to make you feel better than at home. And as long as we live up to that, we try that and try it and keep working on it, that's why we survived for 45 years. And the best wine list in America by Restaurant Hospitality Magazine. More than 1,800 labels. How many bottles oh, of we wine? Have, we have over 35, 40,000 bottles of wine. And counting. And counting. We did that years ago. My partner and myself, we started collecting wines. The bottles stored in an underground wine cellar, a favorite of world leaders, celebrities, and sports heroes. And the freshest sustainable seafood and USDA prime and aged beef. Very simply, buy the best, serve the best. I think we've been a regional restaurant before regional was in vogue. Do you have a favorite dish yourself? Being with my Sicilian heritage, I like a pasta and seafood dish. A nice variety of different seafoods. Come to the Sardine Factory, a must in Monterey. 701 Wave Street, Monterey, a Cannery Row classic for 45 years. Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell, every day on Comcast Cable Channel 17 at 8 a.m., 1 p.m., 5.30, 7.30, and 9 p.m., as well as on video on demand, anytime, day or night. Click Searchlight to either entertainment, shopping, or travel and leisure, and viewers, potential customers from all over the Central Coast and San Francisco Bay Area can see what you have to offer. Oh, and did I mention, you can also see our show immediately online, anytime, at montereybayandbeyond.com. If you are ready to promote yourself, your business, your event, contact Hunter Finnell Media at hunter at hunterfinnellmedia.com or call 831-236-6781. Land Rover, above and beyond. La Merienda means picnic, and in Monterey, that means happy birthday. Yes, the city of Monterey this June turns 244 years old. Although La Merienda is a picnic and a party to celebrate the founding of the city of Monterey, it does get a little political, but all in good fun. In fact, you can see the likes of California Congressman Sam Farr, who's always present and taking photos of the proceedings, and a who's who of celebrity VIP chefs, including in the past, local Leon Panetta, now retired from Washington, enjoying a little more time in Monterey County, and Supervisor Dave Potter, as well as a host of other Monterey area leaders. And you can't celebrate the city of Monterey's birthday without its leader. So who better to chat with about this celebration than the current mayor, Chuck De La Sala. Well, lo and behold, the leader, the city of Monterey, the mayor, Chuck De La Sala. Chuck, good to see you. How you doing? I'm happy to be here. It's a great day. Thanks for helping us preview La Merienda here. First off, I want to ask you, why is this event, La Merienda, so special in your eyes? And La Merienda is that afternoon picnic that was celebrated decades ago by, um, by Unipero Serra and, and others under an oak tree. And now here we are in the beautiful historic memory gardens about to celebrate La Merienda again. I don't know if Sam's actually been in the pit cooking, but Sam Farr is <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah. We have, uh, gosh, Leon Panetta, I know, is always here. True. Uh, so it is kind of a political party, whether you like it or not, <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it, Mayor? But it's a fun political party, Hunter. It's a fun one. <laughs> and it's a yes. united political there party. There you go. It doesn't matter what your affiliation is party-wise. We all have come here to have a great time. A lot of great people. You've mentioned some of them. Others in the community have been here for a long time. Peter Canillo, Ted Balistrieri, Bert Catino, uh, to name a few. The military, obviously, a big part of the Monterey Peninsula, uh, Mr. Mayor. Why is the military so important to us? Military has been part of Monterey since Monterey's founding. 
Uh, yes, the military is extremely important to Monterey. It was hundreds of years ago, and it is still today. Uh, we certainly uh, honor uh, our military and acknowledge their importance to this community uh, and to the world uh, as well. Uh, two very important military installations we have here, the Defense Language Institute at the Presidio Monterey and the Naval Postgraduate School, both doing outstanding work for our country. Chuck, not only do you, the mayor, preside over La Marienda, but you know, I've been here a few years and I, I've seen another ex-mayor here usually taking the stage to sing a little bit, right? Mayor Dan Albert, he has a hell of a great voice. Yes, uh, Dan uh, has attended most of the Mariendas over the last 30 years and uh, he's a wonderful person to have. He has uh, a great wealth of knowledge about, of course, the history of Monterey and he's just a fun-loving guy. And one thing about the mayor of Monterey, you're always the mayor of Monterey, aren't you? Like the president, you're always Once the mayor. Once a mayor, always a mayor. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> the worst things to be, though. I, I there imagine. is, there is. Okay. Are we going to hear you singing anytime in the future? Uh, why don't you come to La Merienda on uh, June 7th and find out? Are you looking forward to June 7th? Uh, yes, I am looking forward to it. Outstanding barbecue tri-tip, chicken, beans, salad dessert, beer, wine, margaritas, margaritas <laughs> you name it, you name it, you can have it. And it's all here in this historic garden under the beautiful magnolia trees with wonderful people to celebrate this wonderful event. And uh, hats off to the Monterey History and Art Association. Thanks, Chuck. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Anyone who's been to La Merienda knows that the list of party guests is not limited to just Montereyans. With that said, if you're in, say, Carmel, you just might want to drop in and see these San Carlos Street treasures. And one of the amazing artists featuring her work in Gallery Elite is Southern Californian Alexi. I'm collected in Israel and France and Italy. And the coolest thing is the emails and letters I get from people that own my art. They say it brings them to a happy space. I need to paint. That's my therapy. That's part of my breathing painting. And yes, it's wonderful to be collected and be in beautiful Gallery Elite. I'm honored. But it's also, you know, just great to be able to do it. And she does it with such flair. Alexi, if you would like to have Alexi's art hanging on your wall, visit Gallery Elite to see her beautiful paintings. And if you mention our television show, you will receive a free frameable poster of Alexi's art. If you're seeking watches from another time and stones that stagger the imagination, Wilkie's Estate Jewels on San Carlos Street in Carmel is where you'll find your precious gift. Fine, authentic, antique jewelry of Georgian, Victorian, Art Nouveau, Edwardian, and Art Deco eras, as well as retro and contemporary periods. Phil Fetterman welcomes you to Wilkie's. You might say that Wilkie's is history in the making. We specialize in fine, authentic, vintage jewelry, one-of-a-kind pieces, and they all have a story to be told. And we'd like to invite you to be part of that story. Wilkie's, it's a wonder you haven't already been here. Most jewelry stores sell jewelry, but few create the art. Sarkis Sakis is the master craftsman. 47 years of designing classical old world traditions, Sarkis is known for his intricate and elegant car settings. This native of Istanbul brings a gift to Carmel that simply isn't found at your average jewelry store. Sarkis, a quiet, proud designer with love and passion. His work is stunning. It's traditional yet unique and beautiful. So I, I don't go anywhere else, but here I love it. The Crossroads Jeweler, San Carlos Street, Carmel by the Sea. If network sportscaster Jim Nance, now a Monterey Peninsula resident by the way, calls the Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, Georgia, a tradition unlike any other, well then I'd have to borrow from Jim and call La Merienda in Monterey, also a tradition unlike any other. La Merienda marks the celebration of the city of Monterey's birthday, a picnic unlike any other. And it wasn't born yesterday. 
In fact, Monterey turns 244 years old in 2014. And on Saturday, June 7th, La Merienda will take center stage at the Memory Gardens in Monterey for the 84th time. The first modern Merienda, by the way, was held in June 1929. This grand event is put on by the Monterey History and Art Association, which quite simply is the guiding light to the past, present, and future of Monterey. La Merienda also marks the rich Spanish tradition in which Monterey was founded way back in 1770 by Father Junipero Serra. And though Spanish was the featured language way back then, the rich history has not been forgotten. Thus, the colorful costumes one sees at La Merienda each and every June, as well as La Favorita and her court. And of course, you can't have a party such as this without mariachis. I know you've mentioned before, but each year La Merienda, I, I love it when you come into this beautiful space and you see La Favorita, La Dueña, La Doncellas. Can you explain who these people are? Well, it's a, it's a coming out. They're being presented to the community in the uh, Mexican-Spanish tradition. It's a young lady being presented to the community. And um, the La Favorita is usually 18, 19 years old. The Donceas, her escorts are 14, 15. And the uh, Dueña, the patron, she's uh, usually a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> a young lady <laughs> in her elder yes. years. And they're, they're dressed in period costumes, and, uh, and they uh, look very, very beautiful. And it's, a, it's a tradition, and um, that tradition has not changed. An honor is bestowed each and every year called the Laura Bride Powers Award. Uh, Laura Bride Powers lived 1867 to 1947. Can you explain Laura Bride Powers' contribution to the city of Monterey and La Merienda? She was... Uh, a person who was very much involved in preserving the adobes and the start of Monterey's history and heritage, the recording of it. And so um, she was the, uh, one of the main um, influences behind history and art and what it stood for, its mission, which was to preserve uh, adobes and the history and art of Monterey. And in fact, right over here on the plaque against the wall is a tribute to Laura Bride Powers and the influence and effect she had on Monterey. The Memory Gardens are dedicated to her. Now I know your sons Taylor and David, actually I think all five of your sons have been cake bearers, am I correct? I have, I have five sons and Kevin and Ryan are my oldest boys and then there's David, Taylor and Chris and they've all been cake bearers, some of them multiple times. <laughs> and they don't cook the cake, they don't bake the cake. <laughs> no, they don't. no, they carry it and so far we uh, haven't had an accident. <laughs> Eric, why in your mind is it so important to celebrate and recognize La Merienda every year? It's not only Monterey's birthday, but it's also a, a, an event that brings many people together in the Monterey community. And to have a good time, right? Oh, and to have a great time, yeah. People, the, uh, each table has its own hostess. They decorate the table uh, with uh, food and beverage the way they want to, the flower arrangements. They wear the costume of their choice, and they usually invite friends and family to be at their table. But we always, if there's an empty spot or two, we always invite people that we don't know, and they become friends. And mariachis and margaritas. <laughs> the margaritas, we, we serve wine and beer here. The margaritas are courtesy of the uh, table hostesses. <laughs> Who is that character that hosts this event every year? Is he out of central casting, or where'd you get that guy? <laughs> That's you, Hunter. I, I first met you about 10 years ago when I asked you. Our kids were going together, uh, going to school together at Los Tulares School in the Carmel Valley Village, and it's been uh, a great privilege to know you all these, these last 10 years. Thank you for being the MC. June 7th is it, huh? June 7th is this year's Merienda. As I was saying before, it's the first Saturday in June every year, and that Saturday varies from June 1st. Last year it was June 1st, this year it's June 7th. They can call uh, Carol Todd at 831-372-4445 or send her an email at merienda at montereyhistory.org, M-E-R-I-E-N-D-A at montereyhistory.org, or go to our website, uh, montereyhistory.org. I really appreciate it, Eric. Right. Great to see you as always, and Good I look forward. You. June 7th is the date, right? June 7th. Sign up now. Saturday in June. Okay, great. We'll see you.
I'm Chuck De La Sala, Mayor of Monterey. I hope you'll come and join with us and celebrate La Merienda on June 7th. Thanks very much to the mayor, and we certainly look forward to seeing him and you at La Merienda June the 7th at the Memory Gardens. Meanwhile now, our TV show that you're watching, Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Finnell, now in its fifth year, we produce a new show every month, and it's presented by our presenting sponsor, whom you've already seen, the Sam Linder Auto Group. And while you've witnessed the cat-like quickness of the Jaguar, have you also seen Sam Linder Auto's new, unique Range Rover? If the word evoke means to recall or bring to the conscious mind, imagine what the car evoke means to you, the driver. Well, first, it's a Range Rover, and that falls under the name Land Rover, and that means history, present, and future. The first thing you notice about the Evoke is the striking appearance. And for the Range Rover Evoke, it's a picture of the future, and the future is now. I have clients who have people taking photographs of their cars as they're driving down the freeway. It's, it's very unusual. It's not unusual that the Range Rover Evoke comes in a two-door coupe or a four-door model in colors of the rainbow. But the generous gas mileage might surprise you. It gets 28 highway unheard of in a sport utility vehicle. And perhaps the coolest sunroof ever. It's mesmerizing. After testing this mighty amazing car, it could just evoke a past dream you had, that the Range Rover Evoke belongs in your future. For your new Range Rover Evoke, contact Sam Linder Land Rover Monterey. Thanks so much for joining us once again on an episode of Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell the best and most widespread vehicle to roll out the message of you, your business of any kind, or an event. So let us promote you. And remember, video is the new business card. Hope to see you June 7th at La Merienda. Again, for tickets for La Merienda, call Carol Ty, 831-372-4445, or email at merienda at montereyhistory.org or go to the website, www.montereyhistory.org. Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell, every day on Comcast Cable Channel 17 at 8 a.m., 1 p.m., 5.30, 7.30, and 9 p.m., as well as on video on demand, anytime, day or night. Click Searchlight to either entertainment, shopping, or travel and leisure, and viewers, potential customers from all over the Central Coast and San Francisco Bay Area can see what you have to offer. Oh, and did I mention, you can also see our show immediately online, anytime at MontereyBayAndBeyond.com.